Good morning. I just got done with my morning walk. So it's getting really hot right now. My car says it's 98 degrees outside. Um, I actually just came out today because my phone said that it was in the 60s. <laughs> so there was a nice breeze, but it's definitely feeling hot. And um, I am not the kind of person who continues to do outside exercise in Arizona when it is 100 degrees outside. <laughs> so I'm super sad because I love walking outside and seeing all the animals and the birds, but yeah, I'm gonna have to change up my exercise schedule. So if you live in a place where there's beautiful weather and there's trees and plants and a lot of space to roam outside, um, take advantage of it because not all of us have that same luxury. Hi everyone, as you can see I have my setup all ready to do ceramics today. So it's usually pretty hard for me to decide what I want to do on Saturdays because you know, you have all week that you're just working, you don't really have time to get into a lot of the bigger projects that you feel like you really need to set up and get into. Um, so Saturdays for me are big project days and I feel that sometimes I use other big projects to hide from some paintings that are intimidating me. Um, right now I feel that I'm hiding from that painting over there <laughs> but I know that I also need to get these done and I have been working on these for a really long time because I'm working on filling a small kiln at one of my local local pottery stores and it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was <laughs> so it fits a lot of pieces and I have nowhere near enough pieces to fill that small kiln so I'm working on fixing that um, first I'm gonna start off by painting some of the pieces that I made last time after that I'll start some new pieces and I'm excited to get started Hi, so first we're going to start off with mixing some colors to use as glazes for our pieces. So when I first decided to try ceramics again, I wasn't entirely sure how much I was going to want to experiment with it. I'm primarily a 2D artist, so I don't want to invest a lot of money into materials that I wasn't going to use. Because of this, I ended up just choosing a three underglazes. Um, that I can mix. So I went with the red, the blue, and the yellow, the primary colors, and I decided to mix all the other colors that I could need. Um, something that I do remember from my university days is that mixing ceramic glazes is not the same as mixing paint. So even though I mixed colors that I liked, that is not what the final colors are going to look like when they come out of the kiln. So really it was kind of a guessing game trying to mix colors that I thought would fire pretty, even though they might not fire exactly how I wanted them to look. With underglazes, you can paint directly onto your clay without having to have a firing in the middle, which is why I decided to use underglaze instead of the glazing that I usually prefer the look of. But because I am going to be renting a kiln from a local pottery shop, I want to make sure that I can pay for the fewest amount of firings possible because every time I take them to fire, it's going to be an additional cost. I waited to start a new piece until the next day because by the time I finished mixing all my colors and painting all the pieces that I currently had, I was pretty much done with ceramics for the day. The next day, I started ceramics a little bit later in the day as it was Sunday, which is usually a family day for me. 
Um, and I decided to try something that I had never tried before and that was to make a ceramic palette. I have seen so many artists using ceramic palettes and they look so beautiful that I wanted to try to make one for myself and it was quite a fun process. I think that I will definitely be experimenting more with ceramic palettes, uh, maybe trying to make some to sell. It definitely felt that it was a lot more intuitive and easy to work with than trying to make cups and plates and all the other things that I have been making so far. So I hope that you guys like seeing the process of how I made this palette and although you won't get to see the finished items in this video, I look forward to sharing what the final products look like when I finally have enough pieces to fill that kiln and get them fired. So have a very, very great day, great rest of your week, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!